Hello everybody and welcome back to another Skyrim Anniversary Edition video. And in today's video we are going to be a long video but you guys won't see the full length of the video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the Thieves Guild and I'm going to do all the miscellaneous jobs until I get the special jobs. For each of the Thieves Guild jobs that I have to do. So I need to do four different jobs for the special. I need to do four different special jobs. And um, I did look back in the last video and I did pick these. But for some reason they regrew back within the span of like maybe 14 hours in game time um, they're not supposed to go back for 72 hours so that was really messing with my mind that's why I was like I thought I picked these already I did um, so uh, I told you guys I was going to look at it when I edited it to see and sure enough right there it was um, as you guys can tell, I did change my layout. Um, I wanted to give you guys a more full screen experience. So for, so for, um, you know, recording purposes, I created a new layout and I'll give you guys the full screen experience. And for those of you, you know, for those of you watching this on YouTube, which that's where it's going to be at. Um, if you check my description box and you go down to the bottom, you'll see that I have my Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, and Discord, and they're all they all should be hyperlinks, so you can just click on it and it'll take you to the page where you can follow or join whatever you want to do. So I'm gonna show you guys a couple of the. A couple of the jobs that you do for the Thieves Guild. And then after we do those little bit of jobs. Like I'm probably only going to show two because you know. They sort of do the same job over and over and over again. So I'll show you two. And then we will. Well essentially what I'll do is. You know I'll keep playing while recording. And then once I get the special job, you know, that's where in my editing process, I'll cut it and bring you guys back. You always get stuck right there, too. If you, if you like, go straight forward like this really fast, like, you're not even running. You're just going fast. It always stops you. Uh, how much? Okay, I only got 119 gold. <laughs> um, yeah, so hopefully by the end of this, we will have a lot more gold. Um, that's the plan anyway. Alright, so for, what are these? Timely offer. Delvin, I have a full score of glass arrows coming in. If you want a piece, I'll sell them to you for my cost. I need to keep the mer merchandise moving or else that yeah, lady might catch on to our operation. Or, you know, female dog. Uh, if you want them, they'll be stashed under the docks in the usual place. I'll check back with you in a week. A uh, tolden way. Ooh, warning. Yeah, let's not talk about that. Nope, mm-mm. Um, you guys can read it. Um, you know, it was on screen long enough. Just go back, pause it, and read it to your own content. I actually didn't know that that was there until the last time that, um, I played Skyrim. <clears throat> and I was, I was playing on, was playing on this special edition with mods on, so I didn't get any achievements. And I came in here... To kind of get the lay of the land, understand where I'm going, what I'm doing, you know. Kind of doing like a little mini test run before I actually did the run. 
And I saw that on there, and I, I was like, whoa, okay. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to do a quick save. We're going to talk to Delvin. Got lots of jobs available. Interested? And say, I heard you're offering extra work. I had all the fishing, numbers, and bedlam jobs. The ones with a more personal touch. If break-ins are more your thing, go talk to Vex. So the numbers job, pretty much what you do is you go into a business and change their numbers. Um, what's, uh, tell me about the fishing jobs. There are all sorts of people wandering around carrying their valuables on their person, just waiting for someone like you to pick their pocket. So, you in for a little fishing? Um, actually, I'm going to be doing the fishing jobs. Normally, I do the numbers jobs because, you know, it's easy. Um, but I'm going to do the fishing jobs because it, honestly, uh, we need a level pickpocket, and this is a good way to do it and get gold at the same time. Um, I'll get it done. Just remember the rules. Keep it clean and keep it quiet. Here's the details. Okay, Windhelm, so that's good. So now we're going to talk to Vex. First we do a quick save, um, because like I told you guys, we do not want a job here in Riften. Ready for some work, or are you just going to wander around all day? I heard you're offering extra work. I handle the burglary, shell, sweep, and heist jobs. Most of them involve breaking and entering. If you don't like that kind of work, talk to Delvin. He runs the more up-close and personal jobs. So, I normally do the burglary jobs because, you know, all you do is break into a place, steal the item they want you to steal, and get out. Um, but I've never learned about these jobs, so um, tell me about the shield jobs. When a client needs us to eliminate another, we don't operate like the Dark Brotherhood. We find alternate means to get them out of the way. We send you to plant some phony evidence in the Mark's house and then tip off the town guard. The rest takes care of itself. Sound like you can handle it? Mm, I don't hey, like you those. you approached me. You want to play coward? That's your problem. I just don't like the way Need that sounds. Need a few spare septums? I got the cure right here. I'm ready for some extra work. Got more than you can handle. All right. Um, tell me about the... No, the sweep jobs, all you do is break into a house and steal a bunch of stuff until the value is like 500 gold or something like that. Um, tell me about the heist jobs. Every now and again, we like to remind the shopkeepers that we're in charge. If that means breaking into their strong boxes and stealing something valuable from them, then so be it. Feel like doing a bit of shopping? The guild way? What else you got? Look, I don't like wasting my time. Come back when you decide to get serious. So, feeling yeah, loose? That, How about you run a job for me? That's why I don't like Vex too much, because her jobs are kind of... Uh, uh, I'm ready for some extra okay, work. Okay, what'll it be? Uh, tell me about you, the burglary jobs. Pretty simple. Break into a house, grab a specific item, and get out before they realize what's going on. The catch is you can't kill anyone who lives there, or you forfeit the payment. You ready for some good old-fashioned burglary? I'm in. Here you go. Hope you don't muck it up. Alright, so now all we gotta do is hope we don't see Riften. Alright, Solitude. So... So we got Windhelm and Solitude. And I believe those are both places we've never been to. Um, we've been to, well we haven't been to Markarth, but we've been to the stables. So when we go to Markarth, we should be able to just teleport to the stables. Yeah, we not, haven't been to Windhelm, haven't been to Solitude. Alright, so. Actually, here, let's go to this Rifton Stables. 
and we'll get a horse to take us to Solitude and Windhelm. And we only got a hundred gold. Need a ride? I can take you to any of the. Where do you want to go? Okay, Solitude's twenty. That's good. Windhelm is twenty. All right. Climb and back, and we'll be off. First time to Solitude? Beautiful old city. Capital of Skyrim, but I'm sure you already... So the one thing that I always encourage people to do is just go over here and do that. Activate that farm. Because you never know when you need to... Um, you never know when you need to, you know, just go to a place that's not, you know, the city and just wait a little bit for the sun to come up. If you're like me and you don't want vampires spawning in the city constantly. Especially when you haven't been to... If you come to Solitude, you join the Legion and keep you with us. Especially if you, um, you know, if a vampire breaks up the execution, which I don't know if they can, but I'm pretty sure that'd be pretty game-breaking, so... They can't hurt Uncle Vlog here. Tell them you didn't do it. Position. Sorry, you need to go home. Go home and stay there and... Traitor! Stand back. Interrupting an execution is a serious crime. So yeah, you can't interrupt it. You can try to save this guy. Um, but you can but you will you help Ulfric Stormcloak escape. You'll sit there and just They'll pretty much treat him like he got executed. You betrayed the people of Solitude. He doesn't deserve to speak. There was no murder. Ulfric challenged Tori. He beat the High King in fair combat. Such is our way. Such is the ancient custom of Skyrim and all Nords. On this day, I go to Sovngarde. So when this guy gets executed, make sure you take the Amulet of Talos from him. Um, it's going to be a quest later on. And um, if you don't take it from him, then you're going to have to go to the Hall of Dead, find the, the Amulet, and you know, it's going to be a lot more work than just... Time to take start you up. Than just, you know... Get an amulet right then and there. Hello, I'm Kukri, but you can just call me Kelly. So now we're gonna head over to. Pardon me. Okay, head over here. And since you know we're breaking into the house, of course we have to lockpick it. You I lost? Oh. You need to leave. Oh. Why is he standing right there at that door? Specific business. I'm not interested. Like, it's 10 o'clock. You need to go. Leave. He should have been at work or whatever he does. Oh my. Okay. I didn't do it. Um. Somewhere up there. Okay. So, um, yeah. If 
something happens like that, um, all you really got to do is just leave and wait a little bit and then come back in and then you can, you can, you can get the item you're looking for. Uh, I'm not going to lie, I did not expect him to be in there at 10 o'clock in the morning, so it kind of scared me a little bit. <laughs> I froze up. I was like, uh, oh, oh, what did I do? <laughs> Alright, so, since we're in solitude, we're gonna... There we go. Get the blue palace discovered. And now we're gonna... Oops. Head to the White Run Stables. I could go to the farm outside of solitude but it's gonna take me to the farm and i'm gonna have to run around versus just walking right up here need a ride where do you want to go all right so now we're gonna say windhelm climbing back and we'll be off ever been to windhelm oldest city in skyrim by some account they say the big old palace there was built by Yiz and after Windhelm, we're going to actually visit Markarth. That way, you know, you guys see all the opening quests and everything to each of the holds. Or each of the cities. Okay, that was discovered. Nope. Alright, so we're going to head here into Windhelm. come here where you're not wanted. You eat our food, you pollute our city with your stink, and you refuse to help the Stormcloaks. But we haven't taken a side because it's not our fight. Hey, maybe the reason these Grayskins don't help in the war is because they're Imperial spies. Imperial spies? You can't be serious. Maybe we'll pay you a visit tonight. Voices. We got ways of finding out what you really you are. idea how dull this is all? <sighs> Do you hate the Dark Elves? Are you here to bully us and tell us to leave? No, I don't hate your people. You've come to the wrong city, then. Windhelm's a haven of prejudice and narrow thinking. Unworthy of one such as you. Looked like those Nords were giving you trouble. Nothing new there. Most of the Nords living in Windhelm don't care much for us. But Rolf is the worst by far. He likes to get drunk and walk around the Grey Quarter yelling insults at us in the small hours of the morning. Oh, a real charmer, that one. Why would anyone think you're a spy? Some of these Nords will come up with any excuse to despise us. And it isn't just the Dark Elves they hate. They make a target of the Argonians as well. In fact... Just about anyone who isn't a Nord is fair game for their bullying. All right, then. See, and that that's why, like, choosing the sides for the Imperials and the Stormcloaks is really hard. Because for the Stormcloaks, it's like, um, you know, they don't want the High Elves ruling them. And... The Imperials, they're trying to cut out a religious belief. You know, people believe in Talos and the Skyrim. So it, it's really hard choosing which one. Um, but I want to see if this quest is still here. Okay, so either they took the quest out or it didn't happen yet. Um, for those of you who don't know, there's a quest where there's a person lying here, um, dead, and it was a really buggy quest, like, if you did, like, if you started this quest, and you left it alone for, like, 20 days, um, you would get to the point to where you cannot do this quest, and so a lot of people had that quest, you know, like failed, abandoned, or whatever, because they just didn't do it. So 
So that's why I, w I was looking to see like if that quest was still there, but um, I either they took it out or, of the special edition because I heard they might do that, and I, <laughs> you know, I never did the proper research to find out if they did, or they just, you know, I I, I just didn't, I didn't, you know get there at the right time or whatever so every time i go to windham i'll check it out and see if the quest is there we're one of the same kind you and i glad to have met you okay for whatever reason this is the be on the lookout the butcher could be around any corner after what happened to those other women, I'm worried about my own safety. Um, wait a minute, what? It is one of the best soldiers in the Stormcloak army. Here, get rid of that because that's making it harder to see. Okay, so he left. So the person left. I thought I was still doing a numbers job. It's no secret that our so, yeah. My job's simple enough. My twin sister a while back. Have you ever lost anyone close? So what really messed me up, though, was the person walked by talking about the butcher, which is quest that they're talking about but I, I can't see it doesn't show up for me so either it already bugged out because they left it in or they took it out and just left her dialogue saying beware the butcher okay so I'm gonna I'm going to try to find this person out here because we need to pickpocket an ameth amethyst from them. This is what is going to that go in Morrowind, though, isn't it? Firstly, I've never even seen Morrowind. Secondly, in volcanic soil, the plants practically grow themselves. Oh my, I hadn't thought of that. <laughs> there are places in the world that aren't wrapped in ice, you know. Why is he looking at me? Stop looking at me. There we go. So I have to take this from him. It's a 40% chance to steal. Um, I did do a quick save because we'll see. I got it. <laughs> I've never done a um, fishing job. I guess that's what they're called. So... That was actually kind of fun. Um, my problem was I was still thinking I was doing a numbers job, so I was trying to find a store. And that's why I was really confused that it was a residency that I walked up on. But yeah, so um, the main reason why we want to get pickpocketing up is because once we get to a high enough level for pickpocket, um, We'll, we can get an increase for carry weight. And these, um, you know, the fishing jobs actually will help us get an achievement and do the pickpocket. Oh, no, I forgot. Okay. See, I should have told you guys what I was thinking, but I forgot because I was talking about something else. Um, I'm gonna go to Markarth, and we're gonna activate all the opening scenes 
to the major cities. That way we can, you know, that way you guys can see like all the opening scenes and then after I turn in the quest, I'll start, you know, going through the quest, doing them really quickly. And then when we get to, um, when we get to the special jobs, you know, I'll, I'll bring you guys back and talk about it. So, yeah, we're going to head into Mark Arth. So, um, he tried to sneak up and attack that lady. Um, you can, you can save her or you can, you know, let him sneak up on her. Um, I always save her because she gives you something. And, you know, honestly, you getting something from her is a lot better <laughs> than just letting her he, he tried to kill Margaret die. <laughs> right in front of me. Do you know why he was after her? No. She's such a nice woman. Comes by every day looking for jewelry for her family in Cyrodiil. Is it because she's a noble? Why would anyone want to kill her? It doesn't make any sense. Okay, well, I... A woman attacked right on the streets. Are you alright? Did you see what happened? I heard something, sh some shouting about the Forsworn. That was it. The Forsworn? Strange. Well, I hope the eight give you more peace in the future for what it's worth. Oh, I think you dropped this. Some kind of note. Looks important. All right, then. Okay, so we're gonna get this where we have to read his note. Uh, I'm not gonna do that right now. By the gods, that man nearly killed me. You saved my life. Thank you. Here. I was gonna bring this to my sister, but I think you should have it. All right. All right then. All right. So now we got Agni Red Arm, a forsworn agent, here in the city. I was actually looking to buy something. Did you just see that woman getting attacked in front of us? We're closed. Oh, oh my goodness. This has ruined my entire day. Here, let's get wait an hour, get everybody all situated and. Ready to sell again, hopefully. Did you see that, Madman? A forsworn agent here in the city. I was actually looking to buy something. Did you just see that woman getting attacked in front of us? We're closed. Okay, well. <laughs> um, I'll talk to that guy later. <clears throat> so now that we... um. Did Mark Arth? We, you know, we did all the major cities, like the beginning scenes. What was that? What was what? What is that? No, don't tell me that's a thief. Alright, so these guys are pretty cool. Um, yeah, I know I just helped them, you know, kill somebody in the Thieves Guild, but it's alright. Um, they always have random stuff. So, it's really cool seeing their inventory. Like, you know, I got Candlestick, Goblet, Jug. He had an Emerald and some Gold, and a Steel Dagger. So, it's always cool seeing that little interaction with the Thief. Um... I think you normally see it in Riften because of the Thieves Guild. 
So now we're gonna go and turn in the quest that we have to Delvin and Vex. And then after I turn in the quest, you know, you guys will have seen what the what it looks like, and then I'll just bring you back once we get the special requests. We're gonna talk to Delvin here. Pull up a seat. Have a drink. I've completed the fishing job. Couldn't have done it better myself. Here's your coin. Okay, so they do remove the item that you take. Kind of stinks, but oh well. Steal? Well, you done or what? I've completed the burglary job. Here's your gold. Try not to spend it all in one place. All right, so. Hey, where do you think you're going? We have work to do. Hold on, I gotta finish this. So, um, we only got 200 gold for doing that. So, hopefully by the time that I start getting the special requests completed for all of them, I'm hoping to have at least a thousand gold because special requests give you a little bit more and that will help, you know, keeping gold around here because right now like unless we just power level alchemy we really don't have a solid you know stream of gold coming in um let's Welcome see if her stuff oh, got reset this and a bit of that yep 30 more lock picks yay and sell the emerald back Looks like that emerald was just enough for those 30 lockpicks. Um, <laughs> so that's great. Alright, so yeah. Like I said, um, I'll bring you guys back once I get the special jobs. And, you know, for you for you guys, it's going to be like, you know, after this, next second, there's a special job. For me, it'll probably be about 30 minutes, an hour. So, I'll see you in a second. Alright, so here's an interesting thing. Um, literally, it was literally, it was the next second after um, I have to go to Raven Rock to steal an item. Um, I didn't realize we get jobs from Raven Rock, so. Yeah, that's interesting. Um, I did do a quick save, but honestly, I. Yeah, like I said, I, I didn't even realize, you know, we could do jobs at Raven Rock. Um, this is my first job ever getting at Raven Rock, so. If you get a job in Raven Rock and, you know, you don't know what it really is, what you need to do is go to Windhelm Stables. Alright, so now that you're here at the stables, what you're going to do is actually head down this way. And um, you can, if you don't want to go inside Windhelm, because, you know, you can get here from inside Windhelm. But if you haven't explored Windhelm or don't want to go in there for whatever reason, go down here in the water. And then you're gonna jump up here, and this will bring you right into here. And this is where you go to get to Raven Rock. Either it's the next ship. It's this ship right here. And so when you talk to the captain, he'll take you to Raven Rock. You don't know what freedom really means until you've lived on the river. You're the ship captain. The North Wind is my mistress, and I'm her master. I don't tolerate any disloyalty. You looking for work? Got a sailor who thought running a gang of thieves would be more money than hauling my cargo. You make an example of that gang. I'll give you a year's worth of pay. Ooh, that is tempting. Um, I won't do it for this video, but I will do it in another video. Uh, they're as good as dead. 
The heart's the spirit, right? See you round. Never much care. So it was this one right here. Talk to Captain Gowland if you're looking to book There he is. If you're looking for passage to Soul Style, you won't find a finer vessel than the Northern Maiden. How much will it cost me? I'll give you a fair price. Not many people headed over there these days. If you ask me, I can't blame them. Things aren't what they used to be out there. Why say they're sail there at all then? They still pay me for supplies and passage, and I can always use the coin. Still interested in heading over there? Oh, I barely have enough gold. Yes, 250 gold. Um, <clears throat> You've got yourself a ship. So we'll cast off immediately. So this is going to be my first time in Soul Storm through the Skyrim Special Edition. I actually did not come here. Oh my god. Oh, look at this. God. Well, here we are. Welcome to Raven Rock. You know what? I normally don't do this because I try to find a way to get a screenshot without that, but. There we Just go. Just be careful here. All right. Things aren't what they used to be. Sorry about that. Um, I normally don't do that, but uh, that sky just looked too good to not put it up there. Like, that's going to be my screenshot for this video. Alright, so now that person wants to talk to us, but if we do that, we can dodge them, but I'm not going to. I don't recognize you. So I'll assume this is your first visit to Ravenrock, Outlander. State your intentions. Just looking for work. You've picked one of the worst places in Morrowind to do that, but suit yourself. Just remember, Ravenrock is sovereign territory of House Redoran. This is Morrowind. Not Skyrim. While you're here, you will be expected to abide by our laws. Any questions? Nope, I don't have any questions. But I do want to know where this person is. Um, what time is it? Okay. So wait a little bit. Um, they should come out. And this is why I really don't have like a set plan for each video, because if I would have followed, if I would have had a plan, Raven Rock would have never been a part of my plan, and it just would have been like you know. My husband Bendel feared visitors would shun Raven Rock. I'm glad to see he was mistaken. Always nice to speak to someone from the mainland. Come on, just turn around now. Let go of me. Uh, I think I'm going to take off my heavy armor because... Mowgli. Oh, Care great. Anything from my stand today? <laughs> That's yeah. worse. Um, that? No. I'd rather eat cheese up and sitting in the sun for a week. Look, I know you why you. I'll get lie. the coin. I promise. If you want that beautiful wife of yours, Come on, stay just, that way. just, just stop looking. Ah. <sighs> uh. Welcome to Raven Rock, traveler. Could I interest you in any fine ash-grown foods? I'll give you this warning only once. Stay out of my way, and we'll do just fine. I feel like I'm gonna have to wait I until. You got a problem. Yeah, I feel like we're gonna have to wait until they're in their house. But 
feel like in their house they're gonna be even worse. Let's see. Oh, we can just open their house. Okay. That's nice. Lost? No. It was open. Why would I be lost? Stop looking. This town bores me. How much longer must we stay in this wretched place? If everything goes well, we won't have to stay here much longer. For now, we wait. What am I supposed to do until then? I don't know. For someone... Come on. Mr. Hop to bed with, perhaps. Please don't go outside. Please don't go outside. You need to leave. Oh. Oh, please. <laughs> don't want to get in trouble with the guard. All right. Um They still don't have their door locked. Like what do you expect? So now we're just gonna follow until she goes to bed or something. And hope nobody's around to catch us sneaking. Not wanted here. I was hidden. Like, there's no way you saw me. Oh, mm -mm. Uh, I think waiting one hour maybe will work. Like, whoever thought this would be the hardest job to do? No, I didn't. Now they're both awake. Are you kidding me? All right, we'll figure out a good time. Honestly, I think the best time would be like when. Oh, here, let me look and see. But I think the best time is right when um, she's walking towards the. The vendors. They are still both awake, too. Like, how, how are you gonna... Nope. 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 Definitely not. But she might be coming outside, so... Um... She comes out of the doors. Uh, I will, you know, let you guys know. But if she don't come out of the doors, then you know I'll just cut it, and then we'll I'll bring you back when she does come out of the doors. So let's find out. She's jealous. Can't say that I blame her. At 
be taken leave of your senses. We could be exposed, ruined. Ten years of plans, all for nothing. It's your choice, father. Any time you want to end it, you just give the word. My husband, Bendel, feared visitors would shun Raven Rock. I'm glad to see he was mistaken. What's wrong with you? Do you want to ruin everything? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm here to do a job, and that's it. I've seen the way you look at her. Do you take me for a fool? Look, dearest. What I do on my own time is my business. You stick to your business, and we'll both be fine. All right, so um, I tried waiting for a long time, and there is no good time to steal. So honestly, I'm just going to pickpocket right in front of them. It is an 8% chance, so <clears throat> yeah, it's going to be reloaded a couple of times. You're not like, this is the best way to do it, I think, because oh, no. it looks like every time I try to... Find the perfect opportunity. It don't work. And honestly, 8% will increase our pickpocket level a lot. Pick. So I'm just going to be here reloading. Um, depending on how long this Pick takes, pocket. I may... You know, I may stop. Like, you know, I may cut it until Pick. I actually get it. <laughs> Because, yeah, 8%, you know, we, we got the 40% luckily the first time. And um, I think I've stolen, I stole a 10% before. It was a bow, and it was 10% chance to steal. And I think it took like 20 different reloads. But it wasn't on the special edition, so... You know, you didn't have the quick save. You, so you had to go to load and then go to the save that you had, which honestly took longer than just. Yeah. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Go. <laughs> so it, it took longer with the saving and getting situated right. This one's easy because all you have to do is just hit quick save. I may just leave it up here, honestly, and have you guys count how many times it takes because I feel like it's going to be at least 20 times, which that, that sounds like a lot, and I don't want you guys sitting here watching every time, so that's why I may go back and forth. Um, if I don't show it all, you know, if I, I stop showing eventually, 
I'll, I'll put in the description how long, how many times. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so I don't have to show it in the description. Um, all you guys got to do is watch the video and see how, how many times it took. All right, so um, yeah, we got something in Raven Rock. So in the you know, um, and to travel to Skyrim and Soulstime, you'll have an arrow after you go to Raven Rock. Um, so yeah, if I get anything for Raven Rock again, I will reload because I honestly don't need to do nothing in Raven Rock right now. Um, you know, if you join the Thieves Guild. You can, go, you can talk to somebody in Raven Rock, the blacksmith, and he will give you a quest because, you know, you're in the Thieves Guild, and, you know, if you, if you do the quest, he'll give you a, oh, I did not want to go to White Run. The night time. Of course it's nighttime. Oh, yes, it's not nighttime. Um, seven, that should be good. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, if you talk to the blacksmith in Raven Rock, he'll give you a quest because you know you notice the signs on his door. And if you do the quest, he'll give you a key and give you you know a bunch of stuff from down in his what basement and if you know if you get the key for the okay that's really distracting me from talking because my ears are trying to listen while I'm trying to talk and apparently it's hard to do that so <laughs> if you talk to the blacksmith he'll give you a quest if you do the quest you can, um, and it's not for getting the pickaxe back, it's the other quest. And if you do that quest, it'll give you a key, and you will get a bunch of stuff from him. And what a lot of people do, you know, they'll make some potions, go there. You know, this is, of course, when they have speech at 50, so they can sell whatever they want to whoever they want. They'll go down to the basement, grab all the stuff, because every 10 days it respawns. And they'll sell that stuff, the potions, to, you know, get a lot of money. Alright, everybody, so we have our first special request. Um, let's talk so, to Delvin what can here. I do for you today? Say, I completed the fishing job. If you don't watch it, I may actually start to respect you. Job well done. Have something special for me, Delvin? Well, it appears your actions are starting to make waves out there. People are talking about the guild again. In fact, I just got a special job request in. I haven't gotten anything like that in years. So what's the special request? I need you to make your way to Solitude and talk to Erica. He's looking to run some kind of a shield job. Now, he's not exactly going to welcome you with open arms. But keep you cool. Do this job right, and we've just made an important friend out there. The only way this guild's gonna... Well, it appears your actions are starting to make waves out there. Oh my goodness, People okay. talking about the guild again. In fact, I just got a special job request in. I haven't gotten anything like that in years. Well... Nope, it won't let me talk to him again. <laughs> Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to head over to Solitude and find out what the special request is for us. Oh, I did not mean to do that. <clears throat> Alright, so... What we're going to do is go to the farm, and that's just so, depending on where vampires are at, like, you know, because we got the quest for the Dawn Guard, which means that the vampires should start popping up. 
you want. So, and I am going to level up. I'm going to show you guys what I did. So, I leveled up my Magicka health and stamina a little bit. Um, I was level 10, I believe. And so, what I did was I just got pickpocket up to here. Because right here is extra pockets, and that'll give us a hundred extra carrying capacity. Um, and I put a point, two points on sneak because they kept detecting me way too easily. I believe that's all I did, though. I don't think I did anything else. Let me check. Oh, yeah, I need to do steel smithing. Um, let me look. Yeah, so that's all I really did. Um, so we're gonna head over here to the blue pal blue palace. <laughs> And we're going to head inside and talk to the guy who needs us to talk to him. There we go. Oh, I think... Oh. I think one of the... I think this quest, they actually have a weapon I really like. Um, the so let's are talk good to him. Business. Bryling's obsession with honor and tradition is quaint, but... Politically irrelevant. Delvin Mallory said you have work for me. It's about time you got here. I'm not accustomed to dealing with people who are unreliable. That's why I asked Delvin to send me his best. Let's just get to work. That's more like it. Nothing raises my ire more than having an agreement broken. It's bad for business and it wastes time. Captain Volf of the Dainty Slode has decided to test my patience on this matter by neglecting to honor a trade agreement we had established. I assume this is where I enter the picture. I need you to help me show him the error of his ways by sneaking on board the Slode and planting some contraband. What sort of contraband? You'll need to get your hands on some Belmora Blue from Sabine Niet down by the docks. She's the first mate on another ship, the Red Wave. Once you get your hands on it, I want you to plant it in Captain Volf's footlocker. I'll take care of the rest. Consider it done. Captain Volf is ashore right now, and I want the authorities waiting for him when he gets back. Now get going. I don't want to see your face until the job's done. It sounded like his voice changed, did it not? Like, okay. <laughs> so for those of you who have not done this quest before, um, there is a way to, because when you try to get the contraband, um, there is a way to go. Come on, where are you? There we go. Ooh. That looks bad. <laughs> um, there is a way to get the contraband without paying for it, and I'll show you what I mean by that. So when you come over here to this ship, and um, do a quick save in case they lock me Whatever in. Whatever you're about to say, don't bother. I don't want to hear it. And all we say is I'm looking for some Balamora blue. Well then, you're talking to the right person. I'm the only one left in Tamriel that can get my hands on it. It's damn near impossible to find anymore. You want to buy it off of me? Uh, any other way to earn it? I'm afraid not. How else can a poor, overworked sailor like myself expect to earn a living? 
That price is outrageous. I'm sorry you feel my illegal contraband is overpriced. Perhaps you should bring it up at the next Merchant Guild meeting. Look, you want it, I got it. You know the price, so talk to me when you want to cough up the gold. Okay, so it's 1500 for that, and, um, you know, after doing a bunch of the quests, you know, I have 4300 So, I got enough gold, but... Um, if you guys want to know a little secret, if you just fall down here, you can find the foot locker, and it's expert lock, so it will be hard to lockpick, but, oh, uh, a little bit more, nope, okay, so, um, it, Like I said, it's going to be hard to lockpick it. What? Right there? Nope. And I have a lot of lockpicks because every time I went back to the guild, I bought some. There we go. Yes. Alright, so you can just take that. And you don't have to buy it. So that's a little way around, you know, having to spend all that extra gold. Um, but if you don't want to deal with that, um, you can spend the 1500 gold. And you will get you talk to You will get um the key. So you don't have to lockpick it, but you know, every chance we can, I like to use my lock picking skills. So now we're heading over here to the ship. And once we get on the ship, they want you to sneak around everybody and plan it without them be get being aware. But I found out if you literally go through and get caught by everybody except the captain, they don't care. So, that's what we're going to do, honestly, because my sneaking is still bad, even though... I'm wearing light armor right now. I have to put on... Oops. There we go. I have to put on the heavy armor. To... Increase my heavy armor. And I think, honestly, I'm going to do the steel sword. And the shield. Yeah, I found another steel sword. <laughs> It was, um, it was in the Thieves Guild, so I actually could have just got another steel sword right then and there, but for some reason I didn't think I could. So I'll try to sneak on, and you will see how bad my sneak is. Look, detected before anything. You picked a bad time to get lost, friend. You need And th these are the weapons I absolutely enjoy as a scimitar because it's such a weird weapon. <laughs> <laughs> I need to heal. Heal, heal, heal. Hey, 26. Not bad at all. Oh, I'm using the skill sword. 
sword. I wanted to use the scimitar. Oh well. Alright, come on, get the 30. See, where is it at? 26. Actually, it's not far from getting the 30. There we go. That's what I wanted. Alright, um. Honestly, I'm gonna take everything that is, you know, worth taking. Even the skooma. Because right now we're kind of in a <clears throat> gold. You know, we, we, we need to get a lot of stuff to make a lot of gold. Because we still don't have the rest of our house built up. That means we need materials and stuff like that, so... Um, anything that I can take... Nobody's up here. Don't worry. Um, and I think I'm gonna put the bow, the war hammer, scimitar, thing to say you say it, and the shield. They're my favorites. So after I heal, I can just. Do that. And this is a great way to level up block, just sitting here doing block um, until you realize your health is too low. <laughs> oh, okay. He he's a strong one. He's not one to use the to um. To really block against. Okay. That. 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 And I still will. Um, favorite this steel shield. Um, but I am not going to. Use in block because. They 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 have some strength behind their swing. Time to end this little game. Open. Really? I just one shot him like that? Oh yeah, he don't wear no armor. Comes right towards me. No, you're not doing that for soon. need to use some potions. That's the only way to actually do this. Do your work. I cannot believe he's that strong. That's ridiculous. Well, hopefully I get a restoration increase. Two, three. What was he thinking? Fool never saw me pull that ace out of my boot. All right. Like I said, we are going to search for anything that could be worth 
taking. The wooden ladle was not worth taking. But, you know, sometimes you just... Nothing you can do about it. You accidentally take it. And honestly, I'm not dropping it right now. So. Please tell me he's not going to bed. Had to die. <laughs> Alright, don't seem like he's going to bed. I don't even know where he's at. Is he underneath me? That why it sounded so close. Yeah, he's underneath. Okay. Alright, take all that. Yeah, and he heard me too, so... Like I said, my sneaking is really bad. You know, getting the sneak level ups will always help, though. Oh, oh, he, he's hard. He's hard. No. Get away. At least I can do a little ring around with him. Now I just go around the stairs. Unless he does something like that. Then I'm... Come on, get him down. Oh, not like that, you don't get him down. No. I'm hoping to get the restoration up to 30 as quickly as possible. Because then... Split your belly like an old woman first. Then be really good. Alright, make sure to eat that. Yep, everything else is good. Take. Okay, nothing over there. Alright. Now we're gonna head up here. Unlock the chest. Hmm. we go and take all that take the potions because yeah we're we're going through and getting everything we can so this chest right here this is what we have to put in there And the captain, or the first mate, whoever, just drew a sword. Is it food? It is food. My goodness. So now we're going to close the door. And keep sneaking, that way they don't <laughs> notice us. Alright, I think we're good now. Now we can put the weapon away. And head back to Solitude. And actually, we're going to wait. Okay, hold on.
three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. We're going to wait until the morning time. That way we don't potentially have a vampire attack on Solitude. And um, I know you guys saw how high my pickpocket was. It's because, honestly, every chance I got, um, I stole from the guards or somebody that was walking around. Um, but, yeah, so I'd come up to the guard, go behind him, you know, go in a sneak and do that. And if he had something for me to steal, like he's got the Imperial bow and the steel dagger... I would steal it from him and then sell it to Tanilia. And that's why, I, that's also another reason why I have a lot of gold. Um, I think, honestly, with just the jobs I did and not, and not the, you know, not me selling stuff, probably got about a thousand gold, if that. Let's talk. The Imperials are good for business, and business is good for Skyrim. I've planted a contraband on the Dante Slot. Yes, I know. In fact, by now, Captain Volf should be on his way to the prisons. Our contract is complete. Here's a token of my gratitude for your efforts. Oh, convey my compliments to Delvin for me. Tell him I'll be happy to reopen whatever doors he needs in solitude. Oh, that's a good spell. <laughs> Alright, so... Um, we are going to head back to the Thieves Guild. And that was the end of the special request. So now we have... Now we have Solitude taken care of. And that's pretty much what it is. It's going to be one quest in each of the holds except for Riften. Because Riften already... You know, Riften is the center of the Thieves Guild. Let's see, does he got stuff? Nope. Don't cross me. So we're going to head back and I'll show you guys what happens once you complete one of these special requests. It takes five quests in the hold in order to... It takes five quests in the hold to, you know, get the special request. So that's why this takes a long time to do. But the gold you do get, you know, the gold that you do get from the jobs and stealing whatever you, you do, it makes up for... You know, going through and doing, you know, doing five qu five quests. Um, I'm still surprised you can get quests in Raven Rock if you are trying to steal an item. So this is how this looks when you complete it in the hold. So there's four of those little, you know, stalls. I guess you could call them. And they're for each of the holds. So if we go and talk to Delvin, he doesn't say nothing. But I'm actually <laughs> going to come here. Welcome to the cozy usual guild show rate. you Let's show you guys what them. I do. Got 1500 now. Oh, I guess her gold went up because of us doing the special quest. All right, so we're going to buy 30 lockpicks. And in our miscellaneous, you'll see we have 329 lockpicks. Every time I come back and she has lockpicks, I buy them. And then we're just going to sell to her everything that, you know, we're not going to use. Like that. 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 Uh, I'll keep the skooma just because. That. Those. Hmm. That shield is better than mine. I'm going to actually keep it <laughs> oh.
All right, there we go. And that's essentially how we made all the money we made. Just doing that. So um, I'm going to keep doing this until, until I get time. the next special request, and then I'll bring you guys back. Got lots of jobs available. Interested? There's plenty more work for the likes of you. Okay, well, you know, I was going to bring you back, but... Need but some gold. You, something I'll does happen. Some work for you. So, I finished that special solitude job. Erica assures me that Captain Wolf will spend pretty much the rest of his life clapped in irons. Best of all, he's also pledged to open doors for us in solitude and to get things rolling again. I think you'll find that the guild is beginning to grow. We've had a merchant move into the space right outside the flagon. It's nice to shake off the cobwebs and get things rolling again. Keep this up, and I can see a bounty headed our way. Alright, so... Find me if you're ever looking for some extra coin. Now, once I get a new special request, I'll bring you guys back. Welcome back, everybody. Um, this is going to be for another special request. Let's talk to Delvin. Got word from Torsten Cruelty in Windel that a rival guild is trying to get itself started. Not only that, but they're giving us thieves a bad name by murdering their marks. Get over there and see what you can do. All right, so now we can sit there and say, I've completed the numbers job. Oh, nicely done. Is your share. The only way this world can be a good grow is by taking extra work. There we go. Welcome to the cozy. And I've got coin and I've got merchandise. Let's see what we can do. Let's buy some more lockpicks. After this, um, I won't need to buy any more lockpicks. So that's good. And also, I do have. something to show you guys as soon as I make sure I sell everything in here okay now for this. Yeah, actually you know what I'm gonna wait until we take care of the rival gang because I may have to use the level up to heal and if I do that means that I need to need something. And if I level up right now, I won't have the level up for later. Sorry about that. I'm um <laughs> I'm a little tired. I've been doing but uh, going on three hours or no more than three about three hours and 30 minutes now to try and get all the special requests done and then in between that and doing all the other stuff at the beginning it's just you know it, it's very taxing um, but I got pickpocket to 50, so I can get the carry weight to, I can increase carry weight by 100. And... I think you're going, nope, I'm talking to you. I own Hollyfrost Farm outside the city. It's honest work, if a bit dull. Delvin Mallory said you had a job for me. My daughter Fiotli. She was murdered a few months ago. Left her laying on the ground in a pool of her own blood. I assumed they were after her valuables. She always wore far too much jewelry in public. When I told her it'd be the death of her, I never thought. I assure you, it wasn't anyone from the guild. No need to explain. I'm well aware of your guild's methods. It took me weeks, but I finally tracked down to kill her. A bloody Altmer at that. Can you imagine? What happened to him? Let's just say I'm a firm believer in an eye for an eye and leave it at that. 
He fancied himself a thief in some sort of new guild forming around here. Gave me some valuable information before... Well, you know. What exactly do you need me to do then? Well, like I told Delvin, I think we can help each other. You recover what I'm looking for and take out a rival guild in the process. It's something they took from Fjold, I assume? Exactly. One of the pieces stolen from her was a silver locket. A cruel sea family heirloom. I want it back. Deal. Where do I begin? The only name I have is Naranya. Has a house right here in Windhelm. That's where you should begin looking. Should have been an adventurer like you. And let me go discover this other farm over here. There we go. The more you can explore and, you know, at, you know, have more fast travel options to you, the better it is. So that's why I activated that. Yes, can I help you with something? I'm here about the woman. Fiotli. Fiotli. Where have I heard that name? Oh, of course the poor girl who was murdered. Such a beautiful young thing. A tragedy, to be certain. Drop the act. I know you're involved in her death. How dare you! You're accusing me of taking part in such a... Such a heinous act? I should have you arrested for even suggesting such a thing. You might be a decent thief, but you're an awful actor. I'm afraid I have absolutely no okay. idea what you're speaking of. Tell me everything or you end up like Fjoltli. Now, just a moment. Let's think about this, you know, discuss it like two rational people. I'm listening. Look. I had no choice. They're crazy. I could be killed. Who's crazy? It's a guild of Ultima Thieves. They call themselves the Somerset Shadows. Their leader, Linway, he's the worst of the lot. He steals valuables from the dead. You mean he murders his marks? No. Linway prefers stealing from the deceased. Digs up the corpses, breaks into the Hall of the Dead. He even stole that locket right off that poor murdered girl's body. Or what was left of it. How'd you get involved? I used to fence for the Thieves' Guild in Skyrim a long time ago. When Linwe moved into the area, he contacted me and said if I didn't fence for them, he'd kill me. Tell me where Linwe's hiding. If I tell you, you need to promise not to kill me. I'd prove to be quite an asset to the Thieves' Guild. I'm one of the best fences in Skyrim. I'm not going to kill you. That's not our way. <sighs> Linway is holed up in a place called Uttering Hills Cave. He's got his entire guild there, so be careful. After you're done with all this, come back any time and I'll, I'll make good on my end of the bargain. What happened to Fiotli? I don't know. Rumor has it she was murdered, butchered by a madman. <laughs> I really try and stay out of such things. Torsten might think Linwe or myself are responsible for Fjotli's death, but I can assure you nothing could be further from the truth. I'm sorry I misled you. All right. So now we're going to... Fast travel to the stables. And we're going to have quite a journey ahead of us because we have to go all the way where the marker is. So yeah, 
stole the horse. Um, riding on the horse will be faster than us running, so... <laughs> but as soon as I get off this horse, it's gonna go right back to where I got it from. keep getting attacked I'm just gonna let the horse go back because there's no point in the horse you know not making the trip and also I did forget that there are guards outside so you there traveler over here here we go oh these are vampires okay I saw Stendar, I was like, oh, cool. Nope, those are vampires acting like them. Yep, so I'm gonna take all this. Take that. And there we go. Um, also, I'm gonna see if, okay, good. I wanted to make sure I didn't get the vampire disease because um, right now I'm not trying to be a vampire there we go alright so now we're gonna head up to where the mountain is And there should be one guard out here, I believe, if I remember correctly. Oh, there's two. Ooh. I don't know why, but, it, like, just seeing that sword go through them, like, through their head and everything is just... Every time I see it, I'm just like, oh, that looks like it hurt. Alright, so now we're gonna head into the cave here. And we are going to pick up anything that is worth a good amount of gold. Um, we have 420 carry weight, so we should be able to carry a lot of stuff with us. Um, but if it comes to the point to where now you're mine. If it comes to the point to where we start having to pick stuff, then you know I'll just get rid of the stuff that's the least amount of gold or worth the least amount of gold. Right here. Alright. Don't do that. That's Alright, so now heal this up. Yeah, and it takes forever for restoration to increase. As you can tell. Huh? Okay, let's see if they catch me. They probably will. Now you're there we mine. go. <laughs> I was sitting there like, what, is he not gonna see me? Alright, now, um... Ooh, 
actually got a sneak attack off. That's awesome. Let's see if I can get another one. I think he's asleep. If I can get a sneak attack off against him, that'd be awesome. Nope, he's not asleep. Bad plan. Not asleep. <laughs> um, nope, I gotta go. Because he's hurting. Oh, there's way m I thought there was just him left. That's me. Oh, and he's got a bow and arrow. Come on. No, don't be using no potions. That's me. At least I don't use potions. I mean, you know, healing magic is fair game, right? There we go. Okay. Oh yeah, and he has his own special gear. Oh, no, empty. Not empty, there we go. I've never seen this chest before though. All right, so I'll just go uh, right there. Nope, that side. There we go. Take all that, and um, oh yeah. Get that healing up some more. Okay, nothing. The optional is destroying this. Uh, make sure you do it because you get a better reward if you do. Oh, I didn't even know there's a chest in here. Alright, we'll check in here now because I never went in here either. Okay, so I could have not gone in there and it's still been the same thing. I wanted to see if there's anything in those cages because I never looked in the cages either, so. All right. And now that we got that done, there's a chest here. Goodness. Need to stop being so blind. But now that we got that done, we'll head back and give the amulet. <laughs> Excuse me. And with this being done, we'll have two out of the four special requests we need to do. So. We'll head to the stables and see what time it is. Um, and I think we'll wait until the guy is at his farm. Because honestly, it's just easier fast traveling to his farm. <laughs> Head over here and talk to him. The cruel seas have been sailors for generations. In truth, I regret not following in the footsteps of my ancestors. I have Fiolt Lee's locket. It pains me to see this locket. 
to be reminded of Fiotli once more, but I'm glad it's back where it belongs. Tell Delvin that if he still desires to have my support for the Thebes Guild in Windhelm, he's got it. Should have been an adventurer like you instead of a farmer. Alright. Alright, so we're gonna... Return back to the Thieves Guild and hand in the special request. Um, see what time it is. All right, so we're going to wait till 8 o'clock and then we'll head inside because. You know, since we got the Dawn Guard quest, that means the vampires will be attacking the towns. Don't cross me, elf. And you know, I don't want the vampires killing somebody that we may need later on. Got new stuff. No lolly wagon. But yeah, um, this is how I get to the thieves guild. You know, I know I can tr fast travel, but honestly, I just run there because after we wait the time to. There we go. After we wait the time for it to be in the morning. You know, I used to check in there to for the lock picking increase, but now um, we don't have to wait no more to increase health and stamina. And now we can go to lock picking, go to extra pockets, and increase that. So now we can carry 500. All right, so now um, we're going to talk to Delvin. Oh, we're level 16. And let him know we got the special request done. Got lots of jobs available. Interested? I finished that special Windhelm job. Torsten was gratified the death of his daughter was avenged, and the heirloom was returned. At his very moment... He's laying the groundwork for the guild to re-establish itself in Windhelm. Burning that banner was a nice touch, too. Should send a clear message to the Somerset Shadows that we're a force to be reckoned with. We're still growing by leaps and bounds, thanks to you. And other merchants moved into the space outside the flagon. You're a natural. Never seen anything like it. We got a long way to go, but don't let that bother you. It's a lot farther than we've been in years. That's about the nicest thing he could say to us. But, yep, see? There's the other merchant. So now we have two merchants because we've done two special requests. So now we just need Whiterun and Markarth. That's not who I was like. There you are. Welcome to the cozy... Why don't you take a look at some of my merchandise and we'll see what kind of deal we can make. Yeah, see, you see her gold? It went up again. All right, now I'm going to 18, 16. Okay, I wanted to see what it, how much it was. How much the damage was. There we go. Nope, need that. Don't need that. See, that'd be good for light armor, but... I like the way my light and heavy armor is set up, so I'm not going to keep that. Nope, I'm going to keep this because it's... It's, you know, special equipment, so I'd r I want to keep that. And I do need to disenchant this stuff, and so... Mm -hmm. 
what I will do is actually head to my house. And I should have an enchant enchanting table set up there now. Okay. So let's head over to the house. And see if I do. Anybody else? All right, Put that away. And now let's see. Okay, so this is all set up. Um, yeah. let's go in here. Yes, I do. Ha <laughs> ha. And that's why I say build the house as quickly as possible because you can get this stuff set up. So we can get. We can get alteration. We can get hide bracers of minor sheer grip, which is two-handed attacks. I'm not disenchanting that stuff. Uh, we can get robes of alteration and robes of restoration. All right. And the best way that I found for enchanting, if you, you know, don't want to be If you don't want to be, um, hold on while my brain works. I need that. Um, so the, the best way to do enchanting, if you don't want to be sitting there smithing a bunch of stuff and, you know, enchanting that is to get the Zura star and just run around the wilderness killing a bunch of animals with the soul trap enchantment and what that will do is every time you kill an animal it'll capture its soul you refill your weapon and that will add to your enchanting perk yeah I'm gonna keep that All right. Oh, so now we're going to come over here. And this will be the potions one. Come over here. And actually, this will be the ingredients. And then in here will be the books. Okay. And so the miscellaneous stuff, I'll, I'm going to put in this chest until I get my cellar ready. There we go. I got the weight down. So, you know, I'm going to head back to Riften. Of course, I'm going to go to the stables. And in the next part, you'll see me doing another special quest, whether it'll be for White Run or if it'll be for Markarth. But I'll bring you guys back once it's one of those. Hello everybody. Um we're gonna be back we're back with another special request for the Thieves Guild. And we're gonna be doing the White Run special request, so let's talk to Delvin here. We actually got a request from one of the most powerful families in White Run, the Battle Bulls. 
Make your way up here and look for Ulfri. He says he's got a matter that requires a delicate touch, but I suggest to you for the job. Don't make me the fool and let me down, all right? And we can also turn in the numbers job, so... Here's your share. Well done. So yeah, I figured that um, I was going to be doing Whiterun because I got two jobs at Whiterun. And I was pretty sure I did at least three jobs already, so I knew I was going to get a Whiterun special request. But I didn't think it was going to be after the first job. <laughs> I didn't think I did four, but I guess I did. Alright, so we're going to head over here to Whiterun. Um, of course, I'm going to Stables, like always, because my speech is not at 50 yet. And I don't want to, you know... Hold on, excuse me. Sorry about that. Um, I don't want... Vampires co going into a city and potentially taking away one of the vendors we need. I could not think of that word. Alright, so we're going to fast travel to Whiterun. And... Um, where is he? I thought he walked around. Guess not. Unless he's just sitting in here drinking. That's not him. The fool. Oh, I'm blind. Yep, right there. Oh, friend. Next man, but I'm no fool. I don't live in the past like those gray maids. Delvin Mallory sent me. You're here, and not a moment too soon. If anything should happen to Arn, there'll be hell to pay. Calm down, who's Arn? A close friend of mine. We fought together on the battlefield for many years until old age got the better of us. Now it's up to me to save him one more time. This time, from the executioner's block in solitude. Solitude? Then why am I here in Whiterun? The city guard in solitude is seeking on for a serious crime. When he fled here, he was arrested for drunken behavior. Can you imagine? Fortunately, his identity isn't known to the authorities in Whiterun. So there's still a chance to save him. All right, just point me to the prisons. Hold a moment. This is more than a simple prison break. I want to have Arn's name stricken from the record books permanently. I'm setting him up with a new identity. It's the only way to throw the guard permanently off his trail. So what's the job? The job is twofold. First, steal a letter that was sent from Solitude warning White Run's guard to be on the lookout for Arn. The second is to change Arn's name in the prison registry to his new identity. Sounds easy. If it was easy, I would have hired a local thug instead of a professional. You see, both of these items are kept inside Dragon's Reach. They don't allow visitors inside the Jarls or the steward's chambers. One more thing. If you get caught, I can't afford to be connected to you. Remember that before you do anything stupid. Alright, so we're going to head up to Dragon's Reach. And so... This quest sometimes is hard and easy. I haven't done this quest on Special Edition. So I don't know if it will be easy. 
Um, but the last time I did the quest, it was on the normal edition of Skyrim. And all I did was walk in there, steal a letter, and change your name and walk out, and nobody said a thing to me. So let's see if that works. Oh, I'm not supposed to be here. Oh, they actually made it harder. Okay. Alright, um... So... Actually, you know what? I think... If I wait till 8, that should be good enough to where I can go in there and not get bothered. I think that's what it was because it's like a certain time. Alright, let's find out. Okay, you know what? I don't care no more. Okay. Nope, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Oh. By the water of the yard. Stop right there. Um, I'm with the guild. How about you look the other way? Since you put it that way, I think we can overlook your crime for now. Oh, snake tongue. All right. Now I gotta go back in there and change the name. Hello. See, why don't the guards stop me? Like, all right. So now I'm out. There we go. See, that's why sometimes it's hard and easy because the guards don't do nothing. They just sit there and let you do whatever you want in there. But if those kids are in there, apparently they sit there and tell you you're not supposed to be in there and then you get bounty added. So after I tell this guy that it's done, I can I can pay off the Old bounty, friend. but we'll see. Patron of the great clan Battleborn. A name I'm sure you know well. Everything's been done. Arn should be safe. Arn? Never heard of him. <laughs> I guess that means you're finished. Here's your payment. Tell Delvin that he has my support and all the weight it carries in Whiterun from now on. I think he'll be quite pleased. Ring of Health. I don't think I have a ring equipped, so you know what? Just equip those for right now. <laughs> Until I find better equipment. Alright, so go up here, and go to the stables, um, you know, as always, we have to check to see what time it is. So, okay, 13 will be good, and, you know, after we wait the time, I'll head into... There we go. Did not mean to do that. There we go. <laughs> My fingers weren't working right for whatever reason. Alright, so let's head into here. Come on, there we go. And we're going to talk to Delvin to finish off the special request. And then it's going to be the same routine. Um, I'll bring you guys back when the next one happens. This is the last one. 
after we, you know, talk to Delvin, we only have one more to do. And, you know, you everybody thinks that that's easy. Um, that actually makes it harder because we literally have to sit here and keep waiting until we get Mark Arth. Talk to Delvin here. Looking for work. I finished that special white run job. Alfred sent ahead his compliments. Looks like his friend Arn is soon to be released, thanks to his brand new identity. More importantly, he's pledged the full support of the Battleborn clan to the Thieves Guild. Success means the guild is getting stronger. We've picked up another merchant and a new recruit. Being a thief is like a second skin for you, ain't it? Never seen anything like it. If you don't watch out, you might even earn Vex's respect. Now that'd be something, eh? Alright, so we got that done. So now we got one, two, and three. So we got three merchants. Now we just need to get one more. So I'll bring you guys back uh, when we're doing the special job for Mark Arth. Hello, everybody, and we're back with another special request. This is the last one, and I'm so happy that this is over. I want you to head out to Markov and speak to Endon. He's a silversmith. He has some kind of shop there. His father was a good friend of the guild back in the day, so he could really use his family's influence back on our side. Say so I completed the numbers job? And here's the spoils. Plenty more where this came from. All right, so now we're going to head back to Markarth. So we did two jobs at Markarth, and we only needed one. Again, so we needed a white run and a Markarth job, which I thought was the case. But I didn't want to risk that and, you know, do a job from white run and Markarth and then... That actually wasn't the case, so now I have to do another job for him. So once we get to mark our stables, we'll see what time it is. Okay, good. So now I'll head into Mark Arth, and I believe the guy should be in the inn, but we will see when we get there. Yep, he's in the inn. So, this is like the hardest quest. I feel like Tama. Finally, now get lost. Bring more gold. So yeah, if you see um beggars walking around asking for septums, if you give them one, um they'll give you speech craft increase ten points for one hour. So pretty much you you sell stuff a, for more. And you buy stuff for less for an hour. I work silver, but my wife Kira runs our jewelry stall in the market. Delvin Mallory sent me. Oh, thank goodness. I wasn't sure where else to turn. Just start from the beginning. Several months ago, I ordered a special silver mold from some artisans in Valinor by way of a Khajiit caravan. Well, it never arrived. Later, I found out that it was robbed by a group of bandits led by someone named Regal Strongarm. Why do you need the guild's help for that? Look, I talked to the Jarl, the steward, the house carl, everyone. They all told me their resources were spread too thin right now. Word on the street says that the Thieves' Guild is coming back into its own in Markarth. So I figured... Send a thief to steal back what was stolen. Exactly. Look, this mold is irreplaceable. I'll pay you well for its return. And I can also prove to be quite a valuable ally to the Thieves' Guild. No time to lose, then. Yes, indeed. The only thing I can tell you is that the mold was taken to the bandits' hideout, a small cottage called Pine Lodge. I'm not sure how many men they have inside, but I trust that won't be an issue for you. Good luck. I have still... All right, so... Um, Pine Watch... Uh, it's a interesting one. The Pine Watch is right there, right by our house. 
Um, that's why I recommended getting the house before doing the Thieves Guild because you can just teleport to the house and then head right over to Pine Watch. Nobody's here, so let's head over here to Pine Watch. And inside we'll, we will find a lookout. Now you can... Oh, that was not nice. There we go. Inside you can either, you know, kill the lookout or you can persuade him to leave. Let's go down here. Yes. Need something? I'm looking for Endon's mold. Endon's mold. I'm afraid you have the wrong place, my friend. You'll find no silversmiths here. I assure you, I have nothing of value. I'm nothing but a poor woodcutter just trying to make ends meet. I never said it was a silver mold. Well, uh, Endon is a silversmith in Markarth, so I just assumed. And we can give him 43 gold so that we don't have to do anything to him. Remember now? Well, can't say exactly where the mold is, but something does spring to mind. It seems there's this strange button on the wall opposite the fireplace in my house. Always wondered what it was for. Think I'm going to head out now. Take a long vacation from woodcutting, you know? Good luck. And he's talking about this button right here. Yes. Activate it. There it goes. Um, so I can't take none of this because all it is just a b um, stealing a bunch of stuff. And I don't want to, you know, steal gold. I didn't want to knock that down, but okay. You're coming with me. All right, so... In here, we're going to have some bandits, and actually, it would be a perfect time to get a sneak increase, hopefully. I did not get the increase. Ooh, that hurt. Ow. Uh-oh. He's got a two sword and he's outlaw. Don't swing. Don't swing. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I was worried for a second. I thought he was going to swing. Still no restoration increase. All right. So the reason why this is the hardest is because there are a lot of people around here. But it's also the hardest because, um, for me anyway, I get lost so many times going through here. Like, you know, I know where the beginning is at, I know what's going on, and then, like, as soon as I get a little farther in, I'm just, I don't know where to go. Uh, we can't go in this door. It's barred from the other side. So we either go this way or this way. Um, both ways lead to pretty much the same place. But after I get down here, I don't know where to go. So, you know, y'all are just going to be here with me till I find where to go. Hopefully it won't take as long as the last time I did this. Alright. So let's go. Now what's up here? And then we need to check that out. Oh, 
same place. Okay. So let's go over here. Just a trap. Okay. That sounded scary. Alright, so we went this way. Didn't find nowhere to go. Wait, what? Oh. Either I'm really wrong. Or... Nope, this is wrong. Okay. So let's go up and go this way. Um, what? That's a thug. Nope, no thank you. No sub nope, 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 no, no. I can keep doing power attacks to me. I was back far enough. Ah. I say, where's the thug at? I need to get rid of him first. He's the most dangerous. Yes! Um, these guys are just shooting arrows, so they're just gonna sit there and keep going back and forth till they can find me. Um, by that point, it won't matter. Where are they? Oh, they're right here. Oh, you're a thug too. Oh, that was not nice. Oh, oh, where's the other guy? Oh, went by me. Oh, he's down here. Okay, let's go this way. Uh, this guy is an outlaw, so it shouldn't be too bad compared to the other two. <laughs> And let's take a look at the carry weight. Oh, we got plenty. Um, I believe we are going to have to start, you know, picking and choosing what we're going to take with us. But right now, um, we should be, should be good for a while. I get to this? Yeah, I can. Alright, now, um, 58 gold. I mean, that's not bad. Like, if it was a higher level chest, I would have been mad if it only had 58 gold. Like, the other chest that had, what, like 11 gold in it? Like, they just leave stuff laying around. Not me. Right. So. Is it this way? Oh, it is this way. I always get confused. Uh oh. Oh, I don't like it when they do that bash. Finally, they fell down. Yeah, and yeah, I know. I realized I missed the gold. Um, I'm not going back for it, though. It's not enough gold for me to be like, um, yeah. Nope. 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 Oh, 
come on. They got me stuck. Like, seriously? How do you keep me stuck? Right when I went to kill the outlaw, they got me. Alright, turn back. Nope. Just start attacking. There we go. Nope. Nope. Where's my potions? There we go. Um, what? Okay. Oh, I only need one more restoration level. Uh-oh. I did not mean to duck. That was mean. I thought that was going to be restoration for a second. How? Like, are you... S nope. Nope. Mm-mm. No, you guys ain't doing that. That's some BS right there. Did you guys see who that was? Like, that's ridiculous. Like, that was everybody, and they weren't even in the room. But everybody teleported with me. That's ridiculous. Oh no, I got locked. No. Go back, go back, go back. <laughs> I died while trying to go back. <laughs> All right. We can do this. Okay. So, um, this is not what should happen at all. Um, so yeah, this is going to be interesting to say the least. So honestly, like everybody is pretty much chasing us now. So, you know, I'm just going to run through it. What was that? That was not cool. <laughs> um, I need anything to level up right now. And I don't know what I'm doing, honestly. Um, this is why I say it's the hardest, because... Unfortunately, that can happen, where they sit there and have everybody come after you, even though they are that far away, like... Now I can't get by this person. It's like they all went back into the same place where they normally should have been. Just jump through. That's all we gotta do. What? Yep, just keep going. Keep going. Uh, until somebody comes in here. Hey, I got restoration to 30. I can actually go click on the thing I want. There we go. Magicka regenerates 25% faster. 
And I got so scared right there because I thought people were going to show up in front of me. So um, what happened there is the most unideal situation. Yes. Um, I've only seen it happen one other time where, for whatever reason, everybody starts chasing you. It, um, you know, normally it's easier than that. You normally just go through and, you know, you get each set of room that you do and they don't bother you. Um, but that was not the case this time. They all decided to try and go after me. And then I got stuck in a couple of death loops. So, you know, at least it happened while I was recording this time. Because when I looked it up, they said that they couldn't, like, it doesn't happen. And so I recorded it where even the person all the way at the end, like, you know that before the hallway with all the traps and everything? That's where Regal Strong Arm stays. They came from all the way there, all the way to the beginning of the door, came out that door and was attacking us. And if you go back and look, because if you pause it quick enough, you can see the silver black strong arm. I work. My wife Kira runs our jewelry stall in the market. I have your silver mold. You've more than proven that the thieves gang is back on its feet in our city and earned every bit of your reward. Tell Delvin that he can count on me to provide the influence around here with the right people when he needs it. If you're ever looking to sell any illegally obtained merchandise, I'd also provide my services as a fence. It's the least I can do. When you get back to work, you tell me. All right, so we got some frost suppression. I promise you, I buy much. So what we're gonna do before heading back to the Thieves Guild and, you know, um, ending the video <clears throat> is we're going to go to our house. And what we're going to do here is we're going to disenchant every single item that we can. And the ones that we can't disenchant, we're going to sell. All right. Um, oh, a level up again. Yeah. All right, so now we're going to head back to Riften. I think that's for a quest. <clears throat> Yeah, so we're heading back to the stables. We're going to wait till daytime if it isn't daytime. Ah, that's good enough. Going to the Thieves Guild. Now we're going to talk to Delvin and claim our reward for Mark Arth. Let's head down here. And I cannot tell you how excited I am that I got this done. I got all the special requests done. It's all going to be in one video. And it's going to be a pretty long video. But it is not going to be as long as what I had to do. Look at the work. I finished that special Mark Arth job. I hear Endon's quite pleased to have his merchandise back. He's a powerful ally in Markarth. 
Perhaps you helped the guild regain a foothold in the West. The guild's at full strength, and we have you to thank for it. We've had our share of dark times, and now they seem like a distant memory. I'm gonna tell you something you'll never hear me say again. But if you tell anyone I told you, I'll deny it. When you walk through the guild, don't be ashamed to hold your head high, because you're the best damn thief in the place. All right, so we got 7,000 gold. Uh, I walked right by you, didn't I? Yep. Before we get down to business, I've got something I need you to do. Uh, sure, what do you need? Well, as you know, the guild's growing and things are looking up around here. The only thing we're lacking is a reliable way to transport our merchandise across Skyrim. How can I help? I'm not sure if you've noticed, but there are several Khajiit caravans that travel across the realm. They're shrewd traders and don't mind getting their hands dirty. I bartered with their leader, Rashad, on more than one occasion. You want me to go talk to Rashad? Actually, I want you to bring him something. You see, the caravans are notorious for transporting illegal substances. Present Rashad with this satchel of moon sugar, and I bet my last septum he'll make a deal. All right. Uh, what have you got for sale? Take a look. Let's see here, buy these lo block picks, and now we're gonna sell everything that we're not using. Yep. Oh, the great sword goes. I don't know. I'd rather have the elven shield, honestly. <laughs> I already sold the armor. Okay. Oh. Ooh, I got steel armor and a helmet. Um, but... Honestly, I feel like... This armor and this hood are better, just for right now. Um, I will get better. I will get a better hood and armor. Um, just not, you know, right now. Uh, I don't think I have courage. Okay, let me see. Do I have courage? Find oh, I did not. Alright, so now we're gonna... Find Rashad. And it looks like they're moving, so... This is gonna be fun. Honestly, I think the best thing to do is just wait until they stop moving but i mean no i did not mean to do that all right well here let's go to the white run stables and see where they're at All right, where are you guys at now? Wait about five hours. Okay, so they're over there at Markar. I don't remember them having a place at Markar. Or at, well, I've never seen them at Markar, so. Kind of makes sense. What is going on? Like, y'all see this, right?
What is going on here? Okay, hold on. All right, well, um, one of y'all, okay. You approach as if you know us, stranger. Who are you, and what do you want? I bring an offer from the Thieves' Guild. Yes, I've heard the Guild is rising back to power. An alliance would be most beneficial to both parties. I will consider the offer, but I'll have to discuss it with the other caravans. Perhaps this will sweeten the deal. Ah, moon sugar. I could smell it on you. I am pleased with this offer, and accept. Take my word to the leaders of your guild, and tell them we look forward to a prosperous and profitable future. If you happen upon any of our caravans in your travels, we'd also be more than willing to pay you a fair sum for any of your stolen goods. All right. So now we're going to go back. Enemies. Where's the enemy at? Okay, so I just moved away a little bit and boom, there we go. Like, I feel like if we don't see the red dot, they shouldn't see us. All right, so of course we gotta wait through nighttime. That way we don't. Do nothing too bad to the city. <laughs> and we're going to be getting to the point soon where we can just travel to the cities and it don't matter who passes away. But it's not, it's not at this point. Um, I don't know why I didn't fast travel. I just gotten so used to pickpocketing from those guards. Um, but I don't need to pickpocket anymore for right now. Um, when I want to get my pickpocket to a hundred, that's when I'll start pickpocketing, but until then, I'm good. So now we're going to go back and tell her that the caravan accepted our offer. And I've never done this until I was the guild master, so. Welcome to the cozy little family. I'm one of the lookouts for the guild. I watch Delvin's back. I've struck a deal with Rashad. Yeah, good. I'll contact some of my people and have them prepare some shipments right away. Good job. Here, let me give you something for all the legwork. All right, so now that is it for the Thieves' Guild until um, we are coming, going to become the Guildmaster. So let me head out here and and then we'll s I'll do the you know. In the next. Um, video we're gonna be doing blood on ice and I know you guys didn't see when I got this quest because I'm gonna put it in the next video and you know I'm gonna show you us finding the body doing all that stuff you know taking care of everything um, I just I didn't want to put it in this video because this video is gonna be long enough Ooh, we can go in there um, so, in the next video, we will start doing Blood on Ice, and that's value 50. Light armor, nice. Yeah, like, like I said, in the next video, we're going to be doing Blood on Ice, and hopefully we can start another quest for I did not know that was there um, hopefully we can start another quest for the thieves guild but we'll see how long blood on ice takes so if you guys enjoyed the video 
you liked what you're seeing, hit that subscribe button. Um, <laughs> hit that like button. Subscribe to me if you haven't already. And in the description box down at the bottom, I got my I got hyperlinks set up for my other platforms. Uh, I'm not streaming right now due to personal chaoticness, but once that all settles down and everything gets straightened out, I will start streaming again. Um, if you guys have any suggestions or anything like that, you can leave a comment down below or you can join the Discord and leave a comment in there. Um, if you leave a comment in Discord, either I or one of the mods will get back to you. Uh, this is Trent. Take care.